Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. When it was created, Evernote was simply designed to store notes. And, and it worked for so many other people. I mean, I've been using Evernote for over 10 years, and I'll be honest with you, it has become core to the way I manage projects and the way I conduct my business. I wanna spend a few minutes telling you about how you can use Evernote, how you can set it up, and hopefully how it can become an important tool for you as well. I have a, a demo account. I, of course, can't show you my real account because it has a lot of personal and professional information. But I want to take you to my demo account and let's start setting it up and let's start getting you set up with your first notebooks. Installing and using Evernote on uh, a mobile device or your desktop is really very simple. Uh, to install Evernote's desktop client, you first want to come here to the Evernote uh, website, evernote.com, and uh, you simply click on the, uh, on the download button. So once you uh, log in, set up your password and the like, one of the decisions you're going to have to make is whether you want the free version or the paid version. Now, I think it's okay to begin with the free version, but I'm willing to bet that uh, very soon you're going to want to upgrade as there are features of the paid plans that you will likely want. I guess, though, it's important to remember that uh, everything syncs to the cloud automatically, uh, which is great because you don't need to have to you know, keep hitting save as you're working on a document. And I got to tell you, the speed of the sync is really very impressive. So that means that the note you create on your laptop or your desktop will almost immediately be available on your phone or vice versa. And take a look here. This is, uh, this is my demo screen. And uh, I want to show you how you can easily set this up. I actually set up a, a, a notebook before we, we began. But if you want to set up a, another notebook, what you do is you very come to the very top where it says no notebook. You click on that and you give your notebook a name. Now, one of the most important uh, notebooks that I think you want to create is an inbox. It functions pretty much like you'd expect any inbox. It's kind of like the starting point for all of the material that you're going to want to put in uh, to your Evernote system. Uh, if you uh, email yourself a note, which I'll show you later, it would go into your inbox folder. You want to make it your default notebook. And so you come over to Actions, and you click on these three dots, and it will say, set this as your default notebook. So that's how you designate it as the important notebook uh, in your Evernote system. So that's the, that's the basic. That's where you want to start, first folder. As you can see, though, Evernote is pretty much a blank slate. So you might want to spend just a couple of minutes thinking about how you want to organize your system. Here's what I suggest. Think about the major areas of your life. So for me, in addition to my inbox folder, I want a folder that relates to my business, Dave Edwards Media. So let's create a folder and let's just name it. You can name it anything you want. And I hit continue. Boom, I now have Dave Edwards Media. Uh, that's one important area of my business. By the way, we can get rid of this uh, we can get rid of this test folder uh, just uh, very quickly. Okay, so now we have an inbox and we have Dave Edwards Media. Now, I also teach. I teach some online classes and I teach for a couple of area universities. So I want a teaching folder. And we hit continue. And now you can see we have three notebooks. Uh, sometimes I call them folders, but really the, the term is notebooks. Uh, I want a, another notebook, uh, which I'll just call personal, but it's where I might want to keep, you know, maintenance schedules, uh, warranties, uh, you know, just any number of things that, uh, that I need to reference, uh, you know, regarding my, uh, my personal life. Now, my wife and I love to travel, and we're always dreaming about new places to go. So I want a, uh, I want a folder which uh, I'll just call Vacations. I mean, you can create any number of folders. You can create folders for special projects if you want. But my advice to you is that you keep it simple. And I'm going to show you reasons why the simplicity of the number of notebooks you set up will serve you well down the road. There are so many different ways you can set up notebooks. I mean, I've known people who have a full, a notebook rather, for every one of their clients. Um, I prefer to 
keep it simple. So you could have a uh, you could have a client folder, and then within that you could stack other folders. And I'm about to show you how to do that. Notebook stacks are also very helpful. Here's the way Evernote describes them. Stacks are an organizational structure used to group notebooks together that are typically used for notebooks that have a same topic or theme. So notebook stacks are only visible to you. In addition, the notebooks and the notes within them can make up a stack, can be shared, but the stack itself cannot be shared. So let's take a look here. Um, let's think about vacations. So uh, you know, one of the places that I'd love to go back to someday would be London. So we're going to create a new folder for London. But you see what's happened here? Um, London is another folder, and it probably should be part of vacations. Oh, we can do that. Let's go over to London, click these three dots, and say we want to create a new stack. It could be travel. Now I have a travel stack and huh, it's got a folder in there. What could that possibly be? Oh, it includes my London file. Now, what do I want to do with this vacations folder that I already created? Well, you know, vacations can encompass a lot of things. So I might want to reserve this for Let's see, we'll rename it and we'll call it Vacations Miscellaneous. So we've changed that name. Come over here to More Actions. And we are going to add it to the stack that we've called Travel. Now, as you can see, we still have the same original notebooks we set up, but if you click here, we have stacks of two folders. So let's see. I'd love to also think about going back to Disney World. Can you tell I have grandchildren? All right. We've created this here. I come over to the three dots. I say add it to my stack of travel. And now it's there. I can collapse this to make this neater. Or I can open up and see all of my travel folders. If you change your mind, nothing is permanent. I can come over and if I don't want my miscellaneous folder for some reason to be in there, I just come over, click on that, and I click on remove from stack, and now my miscellaneous folder has dropped down and it is a folder on a notebook onto itself. If you've benefited from this video, I hope that you would hit the like button and consider subscribing. We'll be back with more on Evernote and more productivity tips very, very soon.